The Pershing guided missile system is the United States Army's longest range field artillery weapon. Maximum tactical mobility is achieved by mounting the firing battery equipment on four vehicles. Lightweight, tracked or wheeled vehicles may be used. The Pershing system is air transportable and can be employed at environmental extremes of temperatures, in high winds, high humidity, low visibility and darkness. The warhead vehicle carries the Pershing warhead section, the missile air fins and other operational equipment to the firing position. The erector launcher supports the missile during transit, provides a platform for mating it to the warhead section and for test, checkout and azimuth laying operations. It erects the missile and provides a level, stable platform for its firing. A third vehicle carries the power station and the programmer test station, which determines the missile's flight worthiness, computes the firing data and inserts the guidance presets and energizes the missile for flight. The radio terminal set and placed away from the firing point is the core of the Pershing specially designed unique communication system utilizing a tropospheric scatter radio highly immune to jamming and interception. Its long range and high reliability permits launching operations to take place up to 100 miles away from Pershing Battalion headquarters. The erector launcher is continually leveled and stabilized by automatically operated jacks. The warhead section is mated to the first and second stage rocket motors and the guidance and control section. The missile is designed to lift the warhead from the Earth's surface to a point in space and release it with sufficient velocity at the desired angle and direction to follow a true ballistic trajectory to the selected target. Before erection, the assembled missile is tested and checked out with equipment in the programmer test station. There, the guidance presets are worked out by the fire data computer. Before flight, the firing azimuth Velocity and displacement are inserted into the missile's inertial guidance system. During the firing sequence, signals from the programmer test station control the functions of the erector launcher. When the missile is erect, the launcher rotates it to the firing azimuth. After a final monitoring phase, control of the missile for firing is transferred to the remote firing panel about 150 meters away. Following the initial thrust provided by ignition of the first stage rocket motor, the missile enters a coast period preset into its guidance and control system which varies with distance to the target. Following the coast period, the first stage is separated and the second stage ignited, accelerating the missile on its flight path. With termination of second stage thrust, the warhead is separated from the guidance and control section and spin stabilized to maintain its trajectory. Clean separation of the warhead is ensured by explosive rupture of the second stage motor. The warhead itself, specially coated against aerodynamic heating, re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. The Pershing's range is 400 miles, and it is normally employed in general support of a field army. Whether deployed for nuclear combat or close infantry support in the field, the ground-gaining forces can continue to rely on the techniques, the men, and the weapons of the field artillery.